Well, welcome back, fellow YouTubers. Maybe you can see my shade is, what do I say, a bit off. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. You can't read it, but uh, this rather stupid looking hat is from the Royal Danish Marine. I used to collect hats. I kind of still do, just haven't bought any new ones for the last 20 years or so. But why did I take this on? Because I needed some nautical luck for this next video. Let me turn around again. My good friend Seppo asked me to do a startup on a seagull and it kind of corresponds pretty good with his latest video where he takes off the subframe of his metro just because it's fun and now it's definitely stranded in the shop but so you're right I really don't need this to start so it is purely for fun pretty seagull engine this one is from 69 this is a 40 plus, you can just pick it up and carry it, it doesn't weigh a lot. Got really famous during the second world war because it was used by the commandos so they can just, they were only meant to last for 24 hours and then they could just tug it away but that's a, not a, that's a bit longer story. But I have prepared a, a bin full of water and uh, let's try to mount it. So, the engine, is, the engine is mounted, it's water cool, so that's why you need to put it in water. Smart for a boat engine, huh? Let's start by saying I know absolutely nothing about boat engines. I have never sailed in my life, except for on a ferry, and I have never started any boat engine. I did some research on these engines about three or four years ago when I picked this up. And um, so I know it's a 69 and I know that people say that I can be in an attic, attic, you call that? Yeah, for 50 years and then still work. I think this has been last used about five years ago. The guy I bought it from, he had bought an old boat and uh, he had tried it once. God rest his soul, he bought an electric motor instead. Why? So, in true Seppo Seaside Cow style, I'm just gonna try my luck. It does have fuel, it's just been spilling out. I have smelled it, I have even Destroyed my shorts, great. And uh, it kind of smells like petrol. So I don't know if the carb works or anything. I don't know if it has a spark, but why not just give it a go? It has, I have of course tried if it, if it turns and it does. And you can see it has those handy arrows so you know which way to pull smart for an idiot like me and I don't know if you can see in the cab but I can see by turning the throttle which way the piston goes and we have we have some kind of a choke here so and we have a, a tipper like on a motorcycle so if it doesn't work then I'm gonna try fuel spark and all that but uh, Let's give it a go. Well, fuel definitely got through there. Running like hell. Back off the speed a bit. 
try giving it some shilk. Well, here goes nothing. Would have been too easy if it started, wouldn't it? Come on! Second pull? I love this engine. Oh, I have backed off the accelerator. I'm gonna give it a little bit more go. This baby is gonna run. I need a boat. <laughs> Damn. Mm -hmm. Surely it must have been the head that done all the wonders. What a great engine. Four or five years. Old fuel. Second pull. What can you ask for? More than that. I've just taken the camera here to show you. Look for the water. It comes out from here. And as you can see, it, uh, the water is warm. I think it's dripping fuel. No wonder really, but let's try again. One more time. Okay. Didn't pull hard enough. A little bit more gas. Probably a little bit easier if you have it on a boat and not in a dustbin. Ah, come on. That was. I guess I had a lucky punch before. The bin is really a little bit too small. Just gonna reposition. Smart is smart.
What a cool little engine. <laughs> That's just steaming water now. Really like the function on this. You just pull it and push it in again. Oh. I do see some oil leaks, but come on. What do you expect? Oops. Well, this was probably the easiest startup I have ever done. So maybe I should try one of the other ones I have. They look a little bit more, what can you say, hopeless. I have one with a, with a gear lever, so it's a two-speed. It's a, also, yeah, like I said, bigger. So 40 plus, 1969. Um, I did show you the cool logo if you have watched my other video, but they have this slogan here, the best outboard motor for the world. And that actually came after the Second World War, because after they had supplied all those uh, engines to the war department, uh, of course the commandos, they left them everywhere in the world where they have been, also other soldiers. But the engines were built so good, so they uh, so they lasted. So they were just picked up by the locals. So instead of previously, they had a slogan called the best outboard motor in the world. So now it's for the world because they really built a, a reputation for just being able to yeah go on and on. And if you can take something this age and store it for five years. I think that's a, a testimony to, to quality. So, but I actually bought the engines because I bought some uh, old uh, wooden crates and uh, wanted to do something, uh, a fun livery for my Land Rover that I had at the time. So I'm going to see if I can show you the, the crates. They are a bit crammed up. I did say they were a bit crammed up. If you call it that. This is sort of a small storage I have. Here we have two boxes and they they have contained 40 plus engines like the one I just started. And um, oh flash moment. This is still the from the shipping to the burning dealer. And if we do like this, I know it's upside down but you can see it has been sent from pool from the British Seagull company. So uh, that's re really cool. It also has graphics here. In one of the box, this one contains two engines from new, and this one contained one. Uh, it's my understanding from, from British forums that uh, these are a bit rare for hardcore collectors uh, because uh, you paid a deposit, you, you got a refund when you when sending this back to the factory. But of course that wasn't viable uh, when you sold it in Denmark. So I think I got a little bit out of control when I first started collecting. So actually I think I got four or five engines, um, but they all seem to be from 69. So I guess that was a good year from the Danish importer. And actually this name is actually a well-known name in the, in the motor industry with cars and still is today in Denmark. So yeah, I'm gonna see if I can find a picture of the Land Rover, but I sold the Land Rover, kept the engines. Now I really need a boat. Yeah, I had dropped the hat. That <laughs> was warm, but uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed my video, so uh, that was an easy one. See you next time.